Hey, Bungle. Oh, yes, Blunder. Have you read it? No, I haven't read it. Read it to me. All righty then. First of all, look at these beautiful cocktails we're drinking. We're kind of worried that they're not going to show up on the green screen because they're kind of neon green. But I poked a hole in the green screen so you can see them sometimes. But this is called the Good and Evil Cocktail. And if you want to know how to make it, check out the link in the description below. Mm. That right bit of sour mm. for a Reddit relationship story. Oh yes, we're back on the Am I the A Reddit. And today is brought to you by Deleted because they've already deleted their post. Maybe they got into a little bit of trouble, Bungle. By Deleted, Am I the A for not buying Taylor Swift concert tickets? Uh-oh. You know, she has been in the news a lot lately, hasn't she, Bungle? It's true. So let's see if the OP is the A. For context. Oh, we got a little backstory. All right. That's good. That's okay. Good. For context, we make roughly $100,000 per year combined. Sounds nice. Oh, that's nice. By no means as a small amount of money, and we are certainly more fortunate than many people, and it's not like we are struggling to put food on the table. Alas, with the cost of living rising in our area, it's hard to achieve all of our financial goals. We Make just finished a year of full-time travel. Full-time Oh travel. yeah, my goodness. Wow. We both have remote jobs and spent more than we made for this past year knowing it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do something amazing. We tried thrifty ways of doing it, like pet sitting and taking breaks to visit family, but traveling to expensive places on the West Coast and Europe still ate into most of our savings out of an emergency fund. It was an amazing year, and I don't regret it one bit. Our next financial goals are trying to save up for a house, mm -hmm. putting more money towards retirement, and building a foundation for when we may want kids in the next few years. Responsible. Very responsible. So back to the story. Back to the Taylor Swift ticket situation. We tried to get tickets the first time they opened. We got into the queue, but by the end, the only tickets that were left were $700 or like $7,000. Oh. A well, she ticket. is quite demand right now, isn't she? Like, I mean, yeah, but oh my gosh. That's... I mean, there's no shaking off seven thousand dollars. I'm just saying. <laughs> that is that is money. Hey, I like me some Taylor Swift, but I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I would spend seven hundred thousand dollars for Taylor Swift. <laughs> we figured we would wait until the secondary market was flooded with some of the early people trying to sell or not being able to go, not knowing the prices of the tickets would not go back down. That's that's not how that's not how that works, works OP. <laughs> I mean, especially Taylor Swift, the scalpers alone are making thousands of dollars off of her ticket. So I'm like, nice try. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know. The second leg for 2024, we tried to get the cube but didn't receive a code. She keeps talking at least once a week about how she regrets not going and wishes she could since several of her friends, as well as my sister and her friends, were able to go. Oh, so now there's some jealousy involved. I know, but like, think of it, Bongo. Like, they went to Europe. How many of yeah. their friends could say they went to Europe? That's not an easy task for most people. I feel some of this may be that she's constantly seeing others on TikTok going and is obsessed with all the drama surrounding it. I could care less about the comparison game, but I also want to support her wishes and desires. Oh, good husband. Yeah, yeah. It's just hard because we just did something amazing that cost a lot of money. And I don't want this to become a regular occurrence of putting our future on hold for something right now because there will always be another thing we could be doing instead of preparing for our future. Very smart and very wise. I feel like she's saying we shouldn't spend this kind of money because she thinks I don't want to. But really, I want to be supportive and just buy the tickets and have an amazing time. I'm just fearful because we don't have much saved right now and it could eat into our emergency fund. And this is definitely not an emergency. You know, I bet you the Swifties would disagree with that. This is an emergency. Taylor Swift forever. I'm just wondering if anyone has any advice how to navigate this or am I being stingy? I feel guilty because I feel like I'm holding her back from doing something she wants to do. Not because I've explicitly said we can't go, but because she knows I have the scarcity mindset and not by nature a big spender. I realize this may sound like a champagne problem, you ain't just whistling Dixie. 
To some people who are struggling financially and aren't even in a position to consider going to a concert or traveling, so apologies in advance. Am I the A? Oh my goodness, for me this does sound like champagne. Who knew Taylor Swift would like when she came out with Tears on My Guitar or whatever that song was, which I liked. I like Taylor Swift, you know, but I don't think any of us foresaw that she would be one of the biggest music people in the industry right now that is like in so demand. You know when I knew Taylor Swift was going to be like the best thing next to sliced bread? Coming from a celiac, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Back when there was a video of a sheriff cruising around looking all big and sheriffy and tough and saluting people as he drove by, but as soon as nobody was looking, Shake it off, shake it off. Oh, I remember oh, oh, oh. that. <laughs> it's like when that happened, oh, I was yeah. like, this girl, she can get him yes. on board with how catchy her songs are. Yes, she just. The world doesn't stand a her chance. Her message just reach across all avenues of life and people. It's just she keeps everybody grounded. And, and I have to say, there are a lot of hate going towards Taylor Swift, but I like her. And let me tell you, I may be like, oh, she's okay. She's better than okay. She's great. And yeah, anytime Shake It Off comes on, I blast that up to like 100 and I'm like shaking in my car, which is super dangerous, by the way. Don't do that. And I'm just having a good old time. So I totally see why this could be a once in a lifetime thing. But given that, but given that, but yes, I know there are Taylor Swift fans out there that would move mountain absolutely to go see her. Absolutely. Sure, we could afford to go, but we're not going to get ahead. Yes. So yes. do we want, after having spent so much money, because he literally said that they spent more money than they earned in the previous year's trip to Europe. Yes, that and means, that is quite a once in a lifetime opportunity. It truly is, but it stop is. to think about, they just got back mm -hmm. from spending over $100,000 in a year. Yeah. Now that I've said that, in the grand scheme of things, if you just spent $100,000 on Europe, you know, let's say the max, fourteen to $14,000 of $14,000. So I'm a, but even the cheap, you just got the cheapo tickets. Let's say you got the $700 tickets. Yeah. So of the two of you together, $1,400 $1, is $1,400 hugely bone crushing in the scheme of $100,000? Probably not. Mm -hmm. But the point stands, and this is where I'll side with the, the OP on this. For sure. That once you do this, what's what's next? You know, what's going to be the next big thing that we have to keep up with the Joneses on? That's kind of what this is coming down to. You know, I'm, again, amazing artist. But you know what? Taylor Swift is going to be around a long time. The girl is immensely talented. She's going to always have albums coming out, always going to have tours coming out. She's going to have another tour. You're not always going to be able to afford a house. <laughs> You're not going to always be able to afford the actual necessities in life. And, you know, don't come for me, Taylor Swifties. I'm just saying, again, I get it. I would love to see Taylor Swift. I really would, she's fantastic. But I'm like, you know, having a house, a roof over your head is more important than seeing Taylor Swift. And they, of course, just got back from a hugely expensive trip, going all over the West Coast, then going to Europe. They had their fun the year before. Now it's time to settle down, be a grown up, get a house. And once you establish yourself after a couple of years, then you can go back and be like, all right, her next tour, which let's be real, again, the girl's always writing. She's a very talented artist. She's gonna have another tour. So I say, it's not for you right now, but it could be in the future. Focus on your financial future, get things done that you need to get done first, and then you can move on to the indulgences of life. No? Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm just saying. Devil's advocate. I love a devil's advocate. Is that I mean, we are drinking the good and evil cocktail. The good all. and evil cocktail, you know, one, voice over here saying save your money the other voice over here saying spend your money <laughs> there has got to be an appropriate balance yes between securing your future mm -hmm. and enjoying the now yes because you, i've seen lots of people where they go through and they say you know i've got to save for retirement i've got to do all this stuff and put everything away for the future and sometimes tragically the future never comes and then you have to deal with the regret of having never done the things 
with the person or people you cared about and it's then too late. Absolutely. But at the same time, it doesn't sound like that applies to OP because they just got back from Europe. <laughs> so I think this year, what he, what Bungle's saying, if I'm, and please correct me wrong, you can skip the Taylor Swift concert. You okay, you're not the asshole. You're not yeah. the asshole, OP. It's Same. all right. You had one year of extravagance. Yes. yes. I think it's safe to have a year of recuperation and then doing a couple of things, doing some traveling to a Taylor Swift concert yes. or whatever else happens to be the big name at that time yes. would be perfect. Bungle, there will never be anyone as big as Taylor Swift. <gasps> oh no, How I have sinned, forgive me. <gasps> what are we saying, Bungle? Are we ready to make a judgment? All right, do these glasses ding? Yep, yeah, they're glass. We are saying, are we on Grant? Uh, it sounds like it. I'll give you the honors you say it, Bungle. Not the A. However, please do communicate. Yes. Just, just coming from the adult perspective. Absolutely. Please communicate with your spouse mm -hmm. that this is not a, we're not going to do this and we're not ever going to do this. It's let's hold off until we've recouped. Yes. And then absolutely we will do this at a later time. <sighs> Being financially responsible really sucks sometimes and everyone. Adulting. Adulting, hashtag adulting. But on that note, again, OP, you're not the A, be responsible. There's always another time for the wonderful Taylor Swift. Remember, if you like this kind of content, gosh knows I do, please like, subscribe, hit that wee little notification button at the bottom of the page or of the video, and leave some comments below. Would you have spent some money on a Taylor Swift concert? Even and though you just got mind, back. After <laughs> spending a hundred thousand dollars on a trip. <sighs> And on that note, we've read it. We read it. We read it. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you, do you agree think that there's absolutely no reason to ever skip going to a Taylor Swift concert, regardless of the price? It's worth it. It's always worth it, and you should spend it and go. <laughs> I'm Blenda. And I'm Bungle. Thanks again for joining us. Remember, we've got that link down below to see how to make this drink. It's a short video and I think you'll like it. And it's delicious. Do it. We're going to see you in the next Reddit video. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Oh, look, I got my two cherries at the end. Oh, you get two cherries. I got the two cherries. I Bungle. also have two cherries. I'm going to steal your cherry. No, no. My, my cherries are mine. No.